2010, the U.S. Senate Republican candidate Pat Toomey was in the capital city today kicking off a four-day campaign bus tour. But also out in full force at today's event were his opponents. CBS 21's Erica Moffat joins us live with the Dauphin County Mobile Newsroom in Harrisburg. Erica, I'm wondering, were the protesters at today's event part of Sestak's camp? No, Tanya, they're not, but they are clear Joe Sestak supporters, and they say they'll be showing up along the way on Toomey's tour. The Pennsylvania Press Club was the audience for today's presentation given by Republican Senate candidate Pat Toomey. Toomey talked about the state of the economy, what he calls a lousy recovery plan, and our economic future. We must not allow ourselves to be the first generation to hand over to our kids a diminished country, one in which the burden of debt is so great that they're unable to attain the kind of standard of living that we want them to achieve. Also making their voices heard in the capital city today were Toomey protesters who told CBS 21 News they plan on following Toomey's bus tour throughout the state over the next four days. As he travels Pennsylvania, we're here to remind Pennsylvania families as he's in their neighborhood that he's really part of Wall Street's neighborhood. I just feel that Mr. Toomey has not been supportive of the middle class at all. He seems to be more interested in his Wall Street ties because that's where he comes from. There to defend their candidate were Toomey supporters. I think it's funny that the uh, state Democratic Party is out here talking about who's the Wall Street candidate when it's their candidate, Joe Sestak, who not once but twice voted to use our taxpayer dollars to bail out Wall Street. Pat Toomey from the very beginning was opposed to the Wall Street bailouts. Now, we did, com we did contact Sestak's office today for any sort of comment on this organized group that says that they'll be following Toomey's bus tour, but we haven't heard back yet. We're live at the Dauphin County Mobile Newsroom in Harrisburg. Erica Moffat, CBS 21 News. Thank you, Erica. And the Pennsylvania Press Club was the audience for today's presentation Thanks, given by Republican I'm Senate also, candidate Pat Toomey. Toomey talked about the state of the economy, what he calls a lousy economic recovery plan, and our economic Michael future. Says, I have seen since I've been here. So progress that has been made, in particular, as you talk about Ombar Providence. Uh, that said, it's still... A, a former Nebraska senator, um, Republican senator, is throwing his support be behind the U.S. Senate candidate Democrat Joe Sestak. Chuck Hagel said during his two terms in Congress, Sestak demonstrated that puts uh, what's best for the country before the interests of his party. Now, we have this. A call for stronger democracy in Pennsylvania. Behind this uh, message, behind a rally today held in Harrisburg, a group gathered at the state capitol to speak out on five statewide alternative party candidates who successfully filed nomination papers, but party majority candidates challenged them. Those moves force the candidates to then withdraw. The group is pushing the passage of a Senate bill which will change the qualifications for candidates. All right, we might not have that for you either, but uh, the person here, uh, Mary Beth uh, Kunzig, going on about uh, the big parties, the majority parties benefit because there will be less confusion and less problems when these uh, smaller candidates try to get registered. Right now, state law requires candidates of minority parties or those who are independent to collect a much larger number of signatures to qualify for the ballot than candidates of major parties needed for primary elections. Well, the first.